What's up everybody and welcome back once again. Today I'm going to be leaving the walls of the penitentiary and talking about the street life, relationship life, okay? And this is a subject that I can talk about for days. And you know, you see many books and websites trying to teach people how to do this. I'm not here to teach, okay? I might give you a couple pointers that could possibly work, but in all honesty, there's no way you can teach how to find the woman of your dreams, okay? There isn't, or man of your dreams. It, there's no way to teach it, okay? There's too many personalities and too many different types out there for you to really write a book and direction guide on how to do this, all right? Now, the big question here is the title of my video, Do Girls Like Bad Boys? Okay, well, I'm here to tell you yes and no. And there's a perfect balance between the both, okay? And I'm gonna get into it a little later, but first, let's talk about this attraction first thing anything it, it goes through the eyes it's a visual anyone can say anything they want I, it's not about looks to me man that's that's bullcrap shut up it's about looks you got to see the person and picture yourself okay i'm attracted to them it's just like buying a car you're not just going to go buy a car without seeing it you got you're not going to buy anything without seeing it you got to see it and then judge it okay is could it be up to what I like that's how it goes everyone is judgmental in a way no one anyone that sits there says I'm not judgmental bull crap my friends bull crap you ain't you are judgmental I say I'm not too judgmental but I am I'm not gonna lie I judge but do I judge their character not so much so first and foremost there's a looks okay and I'm not saying uh, if you're not good looking, you're not going to get no girl. No, because let me tell you something, okay? Uh, when I was growing up, all my friends, they used to be astonished by the girls that I was attracted to, okay? I like big girls. I, I always have. I don't like girls that wear a ton of makeup, look like Barbie dolls, and, you know, take some four hours just to go hiking on a trail or something, go to the pool. Not my type. Okay, they might be beautiful, don't get me wrong, they're absolutely beautiful, but it's not my type. You can have an athletic body and look like a goddess or something, okay, but that is not my type. I like a little jiggle. Everybody has their own preference. So you can't sit there and say, okay, that person's not going to go for me, okay, because I'll give you a situation right now. I've approached girls, uh, I've approached them, and I've been shot down many times, okay, uh, looks have uh, nothing to do with it in certain situations, okay? They, it really doesn't. Some people like certain things, certain looks, and that's all there is to it. If you ever get turned down, you might be a good-looking guy or girl, and you ever get turned down, don't take it personal. Or you're just not a good-looking person, and uh, you get turned down, don't take it personal. It's just what the person might not want or like. But don't ever get it twisted thinking you might be out of someone's league, Okay? I, I, the girls I used to mess with back in the day, they used to tell me, uh, you know, they always, they had such insecure problems. They're like, why are you even talking to me? Why, why do you even talk to me? Why ask why, girl? I'm here because I'm attracted to you. It has, there, I can't explain what I like, okay? That's just how it is. I couldn't stand that when girls is like, uh, you know, acting like I was too good for them or something. I'm not too good for you, girl. You know what I mean? So let's just get that myth out the way, okay? There's different types for any kind of person out there. Just because she's absolutely gorgeous or he's absolutely gorgeous doesn't mean he's looking for someone absolutely flawless. That's the truth. You never know. That's why I say you cannot write a book on this crap because if you were to write a book on me, you would think that I'm looking for some supermodel type girl, okay? Not saying that they're not beautiful or anything like that. I'm just saying... That's not my type. And I'm also not saying that uh, the girls I'm looking for are ugly. They're not ugly. They're beautiful. Every girl that I've talked to I thought was absolutely beautiful in my eyes, okay? There's a saying, and I truly believe it. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. For real, okay? Beauty is what you see and what you like. That's all there is to it. Before I keep going on, man, just remember, man, this is just my point of view, okay? This is my point of view, ladies and gentlemen. This is my point of view only. I know a lot of y'all are going to disagree with a lot that I say. But this is just how I feel on the situation by going through uh, different scenarios and meeting women throughout my life, okay? This is 
what I've learned. There's three things that a girl likes, okay? And they have to be perfectly balanced. Flat out. Uh, do girls like bad guys? Yes, they do. They do. There's like this dominance level. It goes back, I believe, uh, you know, is something built within women's DNA for a guy to be somewhat aggressive. That turns a girl on, but not too aggressive, okay? I've had friends that are super aggressive. I'm like, bro, you're like borderline uh, freaking... Uh, molestation over here bro you're you're borderline creep creeper you know what i mean chill out man you know i would have to say that to a couple of my homeboys man it's crazy that's one thing that i never ever do i never act super aggressive okay but let me name these three things that i believe everyone every guy should perfect and have a perfect balance of in order to pick up a woman sensitive a woman loves someone that's somewhat sensitive. Confident. Confidence goes a long way with chicks, man. I'll tell you what. And easy going. That's right. Easy going. Who doesn't want to be with someone that's easy going? Okay. Now, you can mix your bad boy uh, mentality in there with all that and become a perfect balance of it, okay? Now, with that being said, man, I don't even know where to begin, okay? Let me just start off like this, okay? Girls do like bad guys. They do. I I'm sorry to say, most of girls like to see a little bit of a bad guy. That and that go brings me back to evil roams this earth, okay? Evil is attractive. It's seductive. I, I don't mean to go back into this subject, but for real, think about it, okay? People like to see a little bit of evil. But they also love to see good. So you gotta balance these things out, man. You gotta show sensitivity to a woman. At the same time, don't be, you know, too sensitive. Okay? You gotta be easygoing. Uh, a lot of guys, they mess up a relationship because they're not easygoing. They're trying to structure the girl. Okay? They're trying to control control them. Uh, they're look, controlling someone is probably the worst thing you could possibly do in a relationship you cannot control them look i guarantee you if you start talking to a girl you will keep that girl long around longer if you don't even control her in any way shape or form trust me and as a matter of fact i would kind of like when i first used to when i used to meet girls for the first time i would they would text me and i wouldn't even t i would see their text i wouldn't even text them back immediately okay when you constantly text a girl uh, or call them and try to, you know, you're pretty much forcing your way into her life. That's going to push her away. Same goes for girls doing it to guys. So when someone is constantly blowing up your phone, uh, texting it, I mean, it shows that they really care about you, but it also gives that person a position of power. So that person in position of power is going to use it to their benefit. Okay. They know that you're in love with them because you keep texting and calling. They know that you're in love with them because you're they're, you're trying to control them. Well, guess what? You don't think you're giving them all the power? Think about it. These people know and realize that you are dead in love with them and they can do pretty much anything they want because that's how sprung you are. You keep texting and calling. Look, easy going, you know, easy going, slow roll it. Don't, don't blow up a girl's phone as soon as you meet them. Don't constantly call her. Don't try to even chill with her every day. And I bet you she'll come running to you. For real. Give it some slack. You know, it's like fishing. You know, let it get, go out a little bit. And then you reel it back in. Let it go back out a little bit. And then you reel it back in. And then you caught that jank after a couple hours, weeks, months, days. That's how you get uh, strong you know, you, you, you got the power level, okay? You got the power level. You have control of this relationship. As soon as you flip the side and you start blowing up her phone or she starts blowing it, they get the power. I know a lot of people don't want to think about a relationship in a power aspect, but in all honesty, there is a power struggle between the man and the woman. For real. And they're, they're going to butt heads at times. But you don't want to be rude at the same time. You don't want to make her wait seven hours for a text. You know, I'm just saying don't blow up their phones. That is, that's just a red flag, okay? Girls don't like to see it. Guys don't like to see it. 
have an even balance. All right, so piece of advice to guys and girls out there, don't blow up whoever you're trying to uh, get up with. Don't, don't blow up their phone with text messages and calls, okay? So listen to that one. Now, to me, that's one of the most important things, especially after you realize that y'all both like each other. That is like the next step in the relationship. How are y'all going to handle each other, uh, seeing each other, texting, calling, stuff like that. Uh, you can tell a lot about a person by those interactions with their devices. Jealousy. Man, come on, man. Girls and guys, you know, actually, you know, some guys like it when a girl gets jealous. Some, you know, there's an even balance to it. You can get a little jealous. A girl likes to see that you're jealous a little bit, you know. Uh, a guy does too. But when you take it to another level, jealousy will destroy a relationship. Do not be one of those jealous kind of guys, man. Okay? Don't be scared that your, your friend or someone's going to take your girl. You can't. If they do, they do. Don't try to stop it. If you got any kind of doubt in your mind that your girl will leave you for your friend... You shouldn't even be with her, man. For real. Let her do it. Let her do it. And then go find another one. That's a problem. Most guys and girls think that if this relationship don't work, nothing, there's nothing left for me. The world's going to end. I can't find nothing. You know what I mean? Stop thinking like that, man. There's like a billion people on this earth, okay? For real. It's just going to take a little bit of time. You might be lonely for a, little, a few more months until you find the next guy or girl. So... Don't ever play that jealousy role, man. That, that's going to push the people away. And also, you know, you keep, like I say, you can't control them. If they're going to cheat on you, they're going to cheat on you. There's no way to stop someone from cheating on you. There's no way to stop someone from liking uh, the, uh, your friend. All right? That's all there is to it. If your friend's a good friend, he's going to deny her and then let you know. Look, homegirl's trying to hit on me. That's how it is. Okay? Do not ever try to steer a relationship how you want it. It's not a boat. It's not a car. It is a person. It's a mind. You cannot steer that thing any way you want. For real. It's not going to happen. You're not going to have a long-lasting relationship like that. Now, when it comes to picking up a girl, okay, let's say you go to the bar. You know, there's a lot of online dating stuff, so really, you know, you don't really have to work that hard because there's online sites you can take denial and exception very easily. There's so many girls online dating and you literally say exactly what you want out of a relationship and you go from there. It makes dating much easier. But I'm talking about if you're going out to the bar or something, you know, internet dating isn't working out. Going to the bar or you're going somewhere else, it doesn't matter. And you're trying to pick up a girl in public, okay? First things first, okay? Do not just run up on a, any girl and be like, oh my God, she's hot. What's your number? What's your name? Uh, I mean, you could do that and you might win, but my tactic was always like this, man, for real. If I was attracted to a girl, because no man likes denial. I don't like to be denied. I mean, I, I can get used to it. I can handle being denied. It's not a big thing. But at the same time, I don't enjoy it. I don't like a girl saying, uh, you know, looking at me crazy when I'm asking for a phone number or something like that. Back in the day, I used to do this, man. Check it out. The stare down. That's right. The stare down. This is probably the most important thing about finding a girl uh, out in public. A girl can sense you looking at her in her eyes and can tell if you're attracted to her. For real. Same goes for a guy looking at a girl. You can tell. It's just how it is. The eyes are the windows to the soul, man. I tell you what, really are. When I used to look at a girl that I was attracted to, uh, I would look at her, and if we lock eyes, you know, uh, you can sense it. And I don't even know how to explain it, but you can sense it. And then, later on that night, you could keep on going, and you could, you know, catch her slowly looking at you again. She'll look at you again, and you'll look at her again. And it'll be back and forth with these quick glances and stare downs, you know what I mean? You, that's how you can tell if a girl really likes you. She keeps looking at you. Or if a guy keeps looking at you, you can tell that. And then, how do you approach a girl once you get that feeling, knowing that y'all are both locking eyes randomly throughout the night? How do you approach this girl, okay? Maybe she's around her friends. Maybe, uh, you know, you're around your friends. Maybe she's with a group of people, anything. Uh, you don't want to approach her, okay? 90% of the time, you do not want to approach a girl or a girl does not want to approach a guy with a bunch of people around them. Because if they get denied, then they're denied by 
10 other people witnessing it, okay? And then you might be a joke of the party. You know, that's how it is. So I recommend this. Once y'all get the little eye, googly eye things going on, uh, you're going to approach the girl when she's maybe uh, going to the bar or going outside, something where she's kind of alone and not so many people around and you can actually open up without uh, pressure of other people watching you, okay? And also her. Uh, people tend to act different when they're around other people. That's how it is. Especially girls. When a girl is out there with her girlfriends, those girls have a big impact on her. For real. Her friends have a big impact on her because I don't know why, what it is, but uh, it's like they're freaking coaching staff or something. It, it, you know, if their friends don't like you, you might be in trouble. But the girl can like you all the time. The girl can like you 100%. But if her friends don't like you, it could, it could throw a hook in the game. You know what I mean? So approach a girl when she's probably not around her friends or she, you know, she's walking by herself to go get a drink or something. Approach her and say, hey, say, what's her, what's your name? You know, ask her if she has a boyfriend, stuff like that. And, you know, girls, that's one of the number one questions you ask a girl that you're attracted to is, uh, where's your boyfriend at? You know, uh, you got a boyfriend, you single? And there you go. You know, you don't want to put all your effort into a girl that's married or has a man. You don't want to do that because... You're wasting your time, okay? And if she does say she has a boyfriend, you say, okay, well, have a nice night. You walk off and you try to find uh, another girl. That's how it is. If she says she's single, that's a good green light. Because girls, if they're not attracted to you, they're going to tell you that they got a boyfriend. Even if they don't. You know, that's how it goes. So if she says that she's single, uh, that's a good sign. Great sign for you, my friend, because... She's opening the window for you to talk more. You know what I mean? And that's when you introduce your names and, you know, offer to get her a drink or something or whatever the case is. Uh, that's when it all goes down. But that's a process, the stare down. How are you going to approach the girl? How is the girl going to approach a guy? You know, very rare does a girl approach a guy. I've had girls approach me before. Uh, I'm very flattered when a girl approaches me. I'm flattered, you know, because that's not really the process of things. But it does happen. But you got to be prepared for denial. Okay? If you get denied, do not take it personal, guys and girls. Do not take it personal. You will find someone else. And that brings me to a whole nother subject. Like, how do you know? Okay, once you get all that stuff locked in, you know, you done slept with the girl and uh, y'all really like each other and you want to move forward. You want to move forward to something maybe more... Uh, you know, serious, okay, possibly marriage and kids, because I remember when I came out of prison, I said to myself, the whole time I was in prison, I said, I'm finding me a wife, and I'm, ma I'm having me a family, that's what I did, this, when I did it, I did it, okay, and I didn't just rush it, okay, I made sure that it was the right girl, now check it out, there's one key to knowing that that girl is the love of your life, same way for the girl to know that the guy is the love of her life, okay, there's one one simple thing, and that is, can you see yourself doing e spending every moment of the day with that girl or with that guy? It's when your friends don't mean nothing no more. The only thing that matters to you is that man or that girl. You see what I'm saying? When all that other crap goes out the window, when bars, bars don't even sound fun, going out, going to house parties don't even sound fun, going out doing drugs and drinking, whatever the case is, doesn't sound fun. What sounds more fun is to spend time with that partner that you have. That's how you know, and you both feel the same exact way. Y'all, bo Both of y'all's lives just kind of disappear and become one life, okay? If you really want to spend every last minute with your girl, and the girl does not want to do that, she's probably not the right person. Probably not the right girl for you. Someone, a couple that is in true love, they will want to spend every minute with each other. That's just how it is. Now, once you find that, okay, you're good. You're good. You get married, you have kids, but this is the tricky part. Nine years into your marriage, you're going to, you know, stuff's going to get crazy. <laughs> marriage is wild. Living and doing everything with another woman 
all the time, it gets wild, it gets frustrating. And then sooner or later, after that love, beginning love phase, okay, wanting to spend every minute with each other, that's going to disappear with time. And this is when you truly know that love, you have a great relationship because as you get older, you both start doing kind of your own things without any kind of jealousy or aggression towards each other. It you know, just kind of uh, separate into, to, uh, uh, into the world a little better. You know what I mean? You can be with uh, your partner all day and night, but I'll tell you what, everybody needs a little bit of a break every now and then. And that's over time, okay? Relationships after being years and years with someone, it's going to change, okay? Everything has a little bit of change to it. doesn't mean y'all don't love each other like y'all used to. It just means y'all are used to each other. Y'all have experienced each other's company for years. Y'all know what to expect. Y'all truly love each other. And then y'all can come into terms with expanding, going out, you know, uh, Maybe your husband wants to go to a bar with his friends or maybe your wife wants to go to a bar with her friends and you say, okay, without any kind of problems or repercussions, without even thinking that they're going to cheat, okay? But that brings me back to one of my first rules, man. You cannot change someone. Do not stress the cheating because someone, if they're going to cheat, they're going to cheat regardless, okay? And I can almost guarantee you, okay, the... Everything will always be exposed into the light. There's only a certain amount of time that you can go about running certain lifestyles without getting caught up. So if you want to live that lifestyle, just remember, sooner or later, maybe years down the road, you are going to get caught up and something's going to happen. Uh, you know, but, but what I'm saying is you cannot control another person from doing something. Okay, That is number one key to a relationship. Do not control the person. Do not try to make them something that they're not. I'm telling you, it will never work. But, you know, I like I said, I can go on for hours. This is probably like a 40-minute video already. I don't even know. I've just been talking rambling. I'm going to have to edit this thing big time. But, like, relationships, everything that I said uh, is just my point of view, okay? You can go out there uh, if you want to be a bad boy, you can go out there and commit some DUIs, uh, grand larceny or something. Go get you, start a cigarette smoking habit. Drink some beers. Go to the bar every night. Uh, cop yourself a wife beater. Go to prison and get yourself some crappy prison tattoos and see if you can find the woman of your dreams. I'll tell you what, it's a lot harder than you might think. But for the most part, I, I, sensitivity, sympathy, love, caring, okay, that stuff with this outer image is almost like a perfect blend. Girls love it, man. Girls love it. You could you could go to prison and be a gangster when you get out in the streets, but I'm telling you, man, once a girl gets up with you, you might sleep with her for one night. That girl's going to realize, you know, this guy ain't caring at all. He he's just not he doesn't care anything about me. You ain't going to get nothing from that, man. For real. You're going to get nothing but trouble. Drama. You know, especially girls that are trying to be with guys like that because you can't, like I said, you can't change a guy. You can't change a girl, you know. The person has to change themselves. They have to say, okay, uh, this is what my lady wants. And this is what I'm going to have to strive to be. That's what, that's where the change begins, within the person. Trust me, you have nothing to do with changing that person. All has to come from the inside of them. But there's also a lot of variables to it, a lot of variables I can't sit here and explain them all. I'll be talking for hours. Uh, you know, a, a girl could do something bad to you and you retaliate or a girl has cheated on you numerous times and, you know, uh, you still choose to be with them just for the kids or something crazy like that. You know, there's a lot of variables to a relationship and uh, the best thing that I can say to, to people out there, if you're not truly in love, uh, if you don't want to spend every minute with that person, uh, they're probably not the right one for you. If you cannot picture yourself doing everything with your the person that you're sleeping with or trying to plan a future with, if you cannot picture yourself doing anything and everything with them and enjoying yourself every moment with them, it's probably not the right person. But then again, who am I? I'm just old Dr. Death from old penitentiary and YouTube world, talking, having fun. 
Don't listen to me. You ain't got to listen to me. I'm just telling you uh, certain aspects that I've learned in the relationship game in my life. Okay? So until the next time, I really do hope and pray that everyone finds their significant other and treats them good. And never forget uh, what true love is, okay? It's when you want to spend, you and your partner want to spend every moment with each other. That, my friends, is true love.